It's recording? It is. Hello. You guys can't see it, but he has a really official, like, flat screen TV here that shows all the times and data and information. It's like a really cool new setup that you got here. I mean, he's going yes. places. He's, he's on another level. I'm surprised I'm still here, really. You know, when you talk about another level, most assume that's up. There is a down. So, yeah, yeah let me show you that. Uh, fine LED panel real quick. Oh, okay. We're gonna we're gonna see it. It's pretty yeah, yeah. intense. Yeah. This. Do you th Are you, you sure you can hold it? That whole yeah. TV is pretty do you heavy. You think no? this costs more or less than the Leaning Tower of Panasonic over there? <laughs> Leaning Tower of Panasonic. Um, I don't know. It's gonna be pretty equal. Look at that. Homemade, actually. Pretty intense. I bought a little handle here. Look at that. I it's so sparkly. Velcro. I even velcroed a pen on the back, and then I got some Post-it notes that I attached here. I bought some aluminum and cut You made that. this? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Hey, I'm a former mechanic. If I can't do silly stuff like this, uh, I shouldn't be talking to you. Standing That's in pretty front of, cool. Uh, a camera here. Um, so hi, I'm Marshall Pruitt. This oh, is uh, David Malukas, hi. a.k.a. I think your new nickname is Spud. Spud? I don't know if you know that or not, but the bus bros are going to name you Spud. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, because you're starchy fast. As oh, we determined yes. Okay, yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. All they, right. they name me the long lost cousin. So. Yes, I, I was told yeah. they had a he, certificate on a string. Yeah, he actually messaged me uh, this morning and he said, like, uh, good luck today, cousin. Wow. <laughs> that is so sweet. Yeah, and then he even gave me his little signature at the end. He said, SM. I was like, oh, wow, nice. McLaughlin is the nicer of the two bus bros. Oh, shots the fired. Other one's kind of evil. There's a dark really? Joseph. Oh, yes. Is there? Yes. I feel like nobody gets to see it. Oh, trust me. Behind the scenes, wreckage. Human wreckage Whoa. left behind. All yeah. Right. You know, on camera, he's so happy. But yeah, as soon as the camera's turned off on the bus bros deal, he just <laughs> so angry. Guy. Yeah. Biggest bully like, in the David, car. get over there right now. Yeah. See? Finds dogs, cats, kicks them. Just, <laughs> that's what New Garden does. What? Yes. Wow, yes. you've heard it here first, guys. All right. Uh, hey, we had qualifying. Mm -hmm. You were in it. We were in it. You did. Congratulations. It was not, you yeah, qualified not bad. for the Portland Grand Prix. Wow. Um, you did well. It was okay. Ish. It was okay. You know, well, it's it's ish because P10, right? P10, I think so, right, Karina? Yeah, P10. Yeah. Uh, it, it's ish because you know we had that really successful first practice. Yes. Uh, but it kind of seemed like today because obviously the track times were so much lower and we've just been struggling with low track times and all the second practice we were trying to chase it and we just. Went this way, eh, went that way, eh, it was just n every direction it just wasn't going. Um, and then we went slightly in the right direction for qualifying. And then between the, the first qualifying and the second segment, we went a little bit more in the direction and then it failed again. So I don't know, we struggled a little bit, but I'm, I'm still happy to kind of get a P10 there depend with how the car was. So speaking of the nicest bus bro, Scotty McLaughlin, <laughs> pole position number three of the year. Yeah. What I love about that. We need to now expect this. When he got his first poll at St. Pete, it was like, whoa, surprise, big development year to year now. No joke. We legitimately need to expect Scotty McLaughlin to be there, thereabouts, almost everywhere we go. So it's huge for him. Uh, behind him, the mean, Congratulations. dirty, McLaughlin. just grumpy, hate-filled, venom-spewing bus brother, Joseph Newgarden. Did he end up P2? He, he did, did end up P2, okay. but keep in mind there is that Wait, okay, hold six on. Spot they, grid penalty. They, they did say, though, if I don't get between them in, in the sessions, because after practice one, I was still in between them, so yes. if they said I don't get in between them, I might get upgraded from cousin to a bro. So maybe this is good for me. I don't know if they Holy meant like cow. I have to be P3. They didn't reference how much it said, but I might get an upgrade there. They keep it a little vague sometimes. Yeah. Uh, Will Power... There was a Team Penske 1, 2, 3 in qualifying. Yeah. Will Power qualified third. Will start second. They did also test here. So that comes to no surprise. So that is actually the big thing here that comes to mind. The, ooh, it didn't go so well qualifying story. Chip Ganassi Racing. Obviously, Alex Pillow made it through. He is their lowest placed driver in the championship hunt. Basically, miracles would have to happen for him to get a second title. But the two drivers that are closest to... Dixon, I'm sorry, Dixon being closest, Erickson being next to him. Oh, they did not have very good days. Uh, Polo was in that fast six. Great. Dixon, P16. Erickson, mm. P18. Wait, really? Yes. Oh, wow. So there's only two races to go. Okay, well, yeah, but listen, Portland, turn one, very special place, you know? And I feel like I'm right in the dead zone. Um, the dead zone. The dead zone. Um, yeah, so 
Yeah, and you know, I think there, there could be a kerfuffle, and I feel like people, you know, depending on strategy, you can really still, from Dixon's position, and they're also really good on strategy and fuel saving and all that, so there's still an opportunity there. Like, that's why, like, yeah, they Penske 1, 2, 3, but there's so much that can happen. We're going to have a uh, high school English lesson here. There's an R. You, you missed the R in kerfuffle. What? Yes, really? Yes, but that doesn't sound R. cool. Kerfuffle sounds way better. Right? She's nodding. See? And Karina's from Canada. She oh. should know her English gooder than us. Okay. Oh, did I miss that? I think, did you just, was that a little diss there or no? I don't know. Okay. Was it? I don't know. Okay, so. I'm confused. Okay, but before we. But My name's I, I don't, Marshall. Who I, are you? I, I'm David. I don't know if you're trying to end this, but okay, well, I just want to say one more oh, thing. I want so to end this before one, it started, one, but go ahead. <laughs> one, one cool thing that uh, me and the team have is like, we kind of create, instead of saying like turn 10 and 11, like depending on what track it is, it's a little bit boring. This might get really loud here in a second. You're, um, uh, are you ready for your, uh, your, aren't you in tonight's ARCA race? Nice. So, um, so instead of calling it turn 10 and 11, we call it, we call it the BRAP zone. <laughs> Because the way, if you were to watch an onboard or listen from an outside perspective, you go into the corner and you add a little bit of throttle, and then you go to the next one, you add a little bit more throttle, and you add a little bit more going into 12. So it's like brap, and then you know, brap, and then one more brap. So we call it the brap zone. Here's a brap. So kind of like that. Yeah. But it sounds a little bit different. Yeah. But. Yeah, it's the whole, that's a, yeah, so we call it the BRAP zone. So if you ever, if you guys are listening in on our radio and you hear like, oh, understeer and BRAP zone, you guys know what I'm on about. Like you would ever know what he was on about. That is so <laughs> cute. So to wrap here, big day for Team Penske in qualifying. It's going to matter, provided we don't get a gold, golden bowling ball award going as we usually do, turn one, lap one. Chip Ganassi racing, kind of missing most of the plot. All four Andretti cars missing the fast six. Been a bit of a weird day. Happy to report, though, no video boards have gone psychotic. So yeah, the I mean, counts at zero. I like how they still left it's still it crooked. Hanging. <laughs> they left it crooked, which it's is still great. Still hanging. You're, is that was that you on the screen? Yeah. Well, would you look at that? He's a famous guy. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's got all the cool flat yes. screen TVs. Here. Remember, their levels here, mine are just lower than everyone else's. All right, uh, there are chants going on, by the way, behind us for Pato Award. A chance of what do you mean? Fans. Would yeah. you shut up? Yeah. Whoa. Sorry, uh, I'm doing my Robin Miller here. <laughs> um, without I mean, the curse words. it's no surprise because even I was like chanting for him because it seemed like it, throughout the practice sessions, like the McLarens weren't really there. And Pato just does a really good job of just making sure it's in the fast six. Where are the Lithuanian Americans, though, in the grandstands? I know where they are here on pit lane because it's your family, but yeah. what's well, up? You well, got work to do. No, I know. Yeah, well, we're getting there, but you know, West Coast, it's a bit tough for us. You know, we don't really. A big, a big part of the Lithuanian community is more mid Midwest and uh, and East Coast, but we don't really have many here. In the Are West there Coast. Lithuanian sombreros? Because there's a lot of Pato sombreros. Maybe that's um, a whole product line for you. I don't know. We can figure it out. I I'll look at what like is like Lithuanian style clothing, and then I can make like a because well, we're doing a merch store in the for yes in the future. It's gonna be our own merch store, so it's gonna be very cool. So maybe we'll add something there, something special, a little bit of spice. Okay. Man, you're gonna have to do a lot of editing to no, this, or just no, I'm oh, leaving it all you're gonna have to make them I put wait. No effort into editing. You've learned this already. <laughs> all right, he's uh, the starchy fast David Malukas. Uh, I'm Marshall Pruitt. Uh, hey, we have a race to do tomorrow. And, I'm Spud, right? Uh, yes. Should I get out of the way? The you got little, anything to promo? What the do you li got? The little Spud. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna wait uh, once this thing just. Okay. Hello, everybody. Um, what's happening? Okay, HMD Bar and Grill. I don't know if you guys have heard the saying. Um, it's kind of going around. It's adding up on popularity. It's a it's a really big deal. Terrible. And, um, you know, Only I, one I, I just want to make sure that everybody else here knows about it. So, new rooftop addition to it coming next year. Also, grand opening next year. I don't know exactly. They what only point use next products year. It's a they find vague, in garbage cans. I'll make sure to let you guys know. HMD Bar and Grill. <laughs> Amazing play. I think he's talking, but anyways, if there's I got like my fluid fishing shirt dumpster, on. You know, I got the fishing that's what pole they serve here. For I'm ready to go. Uh, his did his engine just blow? Yes. 
Hey, can we, we can we drama. move the camera? Let's move David, the camera. You you blew up. We're, we're here on the scene. We're here in the we're scene. We're here in the scene on the oh, Portland straightaway. Right here, caught right in the action. He's he's uh, he's blowing his engine on the front straight. Crazy stuff. And if you look a little bit to your uh, right here, you still see the crooked screen. Um. Uh, back to you, Marshall. Uh, little Spud. We should out. go. Little Spud, little Spud, <laughs> L little Spud, Spud out. Oh wow, he's just claiming Little Spud already. 